All right, um, today in Adobe Photoshop CS6 or whichever version you're using, I'm sure this will work just fine. And we're going to show you guys how to turn your everyday person into the Incredible Hulk. Um, our end result is going to be something like this. <coughs> okay, now. First off, the first thing I like to do before I get to manipulating my uh, layers, if it's an important layer such as the background, I'll duplicate it. And what all I did was just click on it, hold it, hold the button down while I drag it into the new layer thing, and it creates a copy. All right. Now, we are going to go into the image adjustments, and uh, we'll go with hue saturation. All right, here we want to change the skin tones. So we can actually just use the master and just slide it until we get the color we're looking for. Maybe we need to go in the other direction. There we go, until you get a nice green, incredible whole color. These are like more so that color. Okay. Now, um, just to be a little anal, I'm gonna like play with the contrasting and stuff like that, cause I'm a big fan of high contrasted photos. Okay, now we got our look here, right? Pretty much done. Except, let's make him look a little more vicious. Uh, well, first off, we'll need to get rid of the green on his teeth and the green tint in his mouth. So what we'll do is hit the mask button down here on your Hulk layer. Now we're going to take the pen tool, zoom in a little bit, and we are going to, with the path selected, trace over the area in which you want to Get rid of the green. Like so. We're going to right click on our new path that we selected and go to make selection and out the selection made we can fill this in with the uh, bucket as, as a mask. You see how it turned black on the layer palette here? That's how you know that that area is masked out. Okay, now um, I'll zoom back out and we're getting there. Okay, a couple things I still want to do is uh, just sort of do a little bit of color correcting in the mouth, like get rid of the yellowish tint we have going on here. It's kind of gross looking. Um, I'm just going to mess with the hues and saturations again. The shortcut is Apple U or Control U if you're using a PC. Um, and then I'm going to go to the yellows. And pull the saturation now. There we go. That looks a lot doper. So now we got a nice looking Hulk picture here. And he just still doesn't look as mean as I want him to look. So I'll go in here and do like a. Uh, bit of an extra manipulation now since we have this mask over here we got to make sure we're working on the proper layer so the teeth we're gonna make them sharper but we're going to use we're gonna have to be working on the uh, under underlying layer not the top layer so go to the original layer and if you want to feel safe you can duplicate that one too just in case you screw things up um, and I want to stretch the teeth so there's a couple ways to do this. 
I'm just gonna think for a second on how I would like to get it done. Let's try this way. We will take the lasso. Select the area in which we want to manipulate. Here I'm just using the warp tool. Uh, I hit Apple T, or you can go to Edit Free Transform. Um, once I got to the Free Transform, I went to the Warp Options, and when you're in the Warp Options, you can kind of bend things to go in whichever direction you want them to go. I'll do it a little slower on this too so you guys can follow along. Okay, I'm selecting the part that I want to make sharp with the lasso tool, right? Now I'm going to go to edit, transform, warp. And just depending on which ones you manipulate, which points you manipulate is how the design will come out like so and then once you got the shape you want to just hit enter so now it looks a little more vicious right um, one more thing I would like to do is oops, excuse me add a glass texture a broken glass texture which I just got from one line to this layout uh, whoops let's move it up a layer alright now glass or textures are pretty simple to deal with as long as you know how to use the blend modes here the blend modes are different settings you can set each layer to and it'll give it a different type of effect like soft light it softens the opacity a bit uh, overlay is a little more of a harsh setting from soft light hard light they all just do different things um, for backgrounds like this where we will have a texture and we want to remove the black typically the screen works just fine for us and then there's no more black it's gone so we'll do that um, of course if it was let's say for instance your texture was white on or yeah white on black I'm sorry black on white instead of white on black then you would use multiply to get that white away or if you want the outside without the inside screen see how it works simple okay so we're gonna transform this because I would like this to be a little bigger um, so I'll pull that up like that a little more alright cool um, I'm gonna get, add a layer mask to this too so I can make sure that it's inside the actual glasses and not like on the frame or anything we want it to look as real as we can make it look so I'll just grab a brush because this is a pretty quick fix and then just brush away the edges where it extends over. Make sure you're using black because if you're using white, the color will pop back up. So black erases it and white brings it back up. That's the beauty of the uh, layer mask over the eraser because once you erase so much and you go so far, you can't undo with the mask you can always erase it back or just delete the mask alright cool so now we got our maybe I'll put it in this other one I like it in this one now we got our, our uh, crack in our lenses 
I'm just going to turn the le levels down a little bit. And I access that by hitting Apple plus uh, the L key if you're on a Mac. If you're on a PC, of course, you substitute the Apple for the control button. Um, I'm going to pull the midtones down just a little bit because you see how if there's too far up, you still get all these annoying artifacts around here and around the outside and stuff. I'm going to bring it down to get even more of that white away. And we just want it to be like that. That looks good, I think. Make sure that your crack is in there. And then there's like other little things you can add to it, whatever you could think of, like maybe some blood splatters or um, I think maybe I'll flatten these because I'm satisfied with that look. I think maybe uh, hmm, a cool effect would be like to sharpen it up a bit. trying to see how this setting works okay there we go I want to turn the radius up a little bit just want to really give it that kind of a almost kind of a sketched effect to it And then the shadow highlights just let you manipulate the shadows and the highlights, obviously. Uh, you just move the sliders to determine the amount that you're going to use. Let's see, without it. See, it kind of like, it pretty much changes the lighting of the picture. And <clears throat> if you do it properly, you can uh, kind of give it sort of a, like I said, sort of a cartoony sort of look. Okay. So we'll roll with that for now. Um, that is how you create the Incredible Hulk out of just a regular photo that you took of yourself. Um, if you have any questions or comments on how to make this look doper you can just leave it in the uh, comments below um, if you do attempt at this effect I would actually like to see it so if you do make one you can also put that in the comments below with your video um, so I can check it out um, and that's that be sure to check out www.photoshopdiamonds.com and hit the subscribe button on your way out and i'll see you next time peace